Plesiidae performs are this group of mammals that show up about 66 million years ago. It's a really primitive primate that was thought to be so primitive that it could potentially be the ancestor of all, all of the primates that are alive today. One Plesiidae perform Purgatorius was only known from teeth. A couple years ago, my colleagues and I found some ankle bones of this animal. It had a ton of mobility in its ankle, which you only see in animals that are up in the trees today. So when my colleague Tom Williamson contacted me and said that we found this fossil in the San Juan Basin in New Mexico, that he had a partial skeleton which represented lots of different parts of the body, we were all really, really excited because it's not just an ankle in this case. We could actually analyze the elbow and the shoulder and the knee and the hip. When we looked at all of those different joints of the skeleton, we had a really good sense that this animal was in fact arboreal. It was likely capable of grasping with its hands and feet. It was probably spending a lot of time on the sides of tree trunks. One really interesting thing to think about is that we are in fact primates. These early plesiodapiforms did not have all of the features that modern primates, including humans, have today. Basically, things that we take for granted in our day-to-day -day lives are often features that actually evolved in early primate evolution. We're in the process of documenting the earliest steps in primate evolution. And it allows us to have a better sense of when primates evolved, a lot of the features that we, as primates, still have today.